This is how it looks on the streets of big cities around the world. And how about Bratislava? Oh, nothing. Because while other countries cherish and admire its artistic value, busking in Slovakia is frowned on as an act of begging. As a result, the number of Slovaks who considered it art is shockingly small. This is probably why Slovak buskers are on the verge of extinction. Really, what's the point of performing when you don't have an audience? Slovenska Sporitelnia, the biggest bank in Slovakia, decided to use its influence to change this sad situation. And this is how Viva Street was born, the project through which the bank elevated its sponsorship of this popular Bratislava festival into a beneficial civic activity. Under normal circumstances, the festival sponsorship would be communicated just by shooting a nice commercial. But this time, we took it to a whole new level. We created a project enriching Bratislava with music all year round, even after the end of the sponsored festival, and thus truly walked the talk when promoting the bank's image as an art patron. The project had its own symbol, a blue hat connecting the worlds of music and finance. It came with an official busking spot on the streets in Bratislava, and only the best musicians that uploaded a video of their performance to our website could get their hands on it. But first, they had to pass the judgment of a professional jury of noted musicians and festival organizers. Once the judges chose the best 10 musicians, we held the ribbon-cutting ceremony at the very first busking spot. And the streets were flooded with the finest street musicians. People could support them right on the streets, or online, via live streams. Every time someone wrote a comment, we dropped a coin into the musician's blue hat. Some people even enjoyed private performances right under their windows. The city took a liking to the project and became its partner. And the media covered it without our prompting. However, the most important thing is that Viva Street really improved the generally negative perception of busking in Bratislava. While only 13% of people in Bratislava perceived it utterly positively before the project, after the project that number more than doubled. What's more, 10% of them now believe that street music makes Bratislava a nicer place to live. We also accomplished the bank's main goal. 56% of the people in Bratislava now view Slovenska Sporitelnia as an art patron. The inaugural year of the Viva Street project is behind us, but our claim that you can't just pull good street music out of a hat is still true. So the bank is now getting ready for the next edition. <laughs>